Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be talking about a huge link between Algorand and the World Economic Forum. So the World Economic Forum are at the centre of a number of developments around the world, most notably changes to the financial and monetary system. So as part of this initiative, the World Economic Forum are looking to new innovations to improve financial services around the world. So one such innovation the World Economic Forum is looking to is cryptocurrencies and how cryptocurrencies could be used as a means of overcoming the limitations associated with the current financial system, including improving the security, the speed and the trust surrounding payments around the world. So as part of this initiative, the World Economic Forum has devised a global innovator community which is geared towards providing support to startups and scale-ups for development surrounding business innovations. So the global innovator community will see the engagement with public and private sector organisations and leaders where the World Economic Forum are partnering with a number of organisations in view of improving again of improving financial infrastructure and other developments around the world. So an example of an organisation the World Economic Forum is directly partnered with is the Algorand Foundation where the World Economic Forum has selected Algorand namely due to the open source nature surrounding the organization's blockchain offering. So the World Economic Forum may be turning to DLT and blockchain for development surrounding payment actions and economic activities, namely due to the benefits DLT provides, especially the Algorand network, where the network is able to process vast amounts of uh, transactions per second and finality rates surrounding these transactions can be achieved in a few seconds. And this is all coupled with the cost effectiveness surrounding the usage of Algorand and the utility and the availability of smart contracts on Algorand. So the intrinsic benefits surrounding Algorand may lead to more entities and bodies around the world looking to Algorand as a means of overcoming limitations surrounding their use cases, especially in terms of financial actions, where at the moment financial activity and frameworks are quite rigid. However, with the usage of DLT and crypto, financial activities could be more seamless and fluid. And this could see the likes of Algorand being more widely used for more developments around the world, especially surrounding financial activities. So as well as the World Economic Forum being directly partnered with the Algorand Foundation, the World Economic Forum has also detailed the implications stablecoins could have within financial activities and how stablecoins will improve financial inclusivity around the world where the organisation has authored a paper, a white paper, entitled What is the value proposition of stablecoins for financial inclusion? So as part of this paper, the organisation referenced to stablecoins and how stablecoins could be a means of improving the trust of financial actions and how the usage surrounding stablecoins, especially due to stablecoins being available on DLTs, being able to overcome the mistrust associated with traditional financial services. And this is also coupled with the usage of stablecoins being a means of overcoming the limitations surrounding malicious entities actively attacking and stealing monetary funds, which is quite common, especially within traditional financial activities. So at the moment, there's only a few DLT platforms which offer more mainstream stablecoins. So for example, Algorand is one DLT platform that offers the USDC stablecoin, where the USDC stablecoin is directly pegged against the US dollar. So this sees individuals who wish to use the stablecoin being able to take advantages of DLT, where individuals can use the high scalability, the high finality rates and the low cost associated with usage of DLT, including Algorand. And also taking on the advantages stablecoins provide where individuals can send funds at stable rates compared to if individuals wish to use crypto as a means of sending funds across borders, which will be a lot more volatile. So with the benefits surrounding stablecoin usage, more individuals or even entities may turn to the likes of Algorand to power and validate financial activities. So this could be quite bullish for the overarching Algorand network and especially due to Algorand's direct affiliation with the World Economic Forum where the organisation will see sizable increases to its overall utility be it through the usage of its stablecoin or for other developments be it for smart contract utility or DeFi initiatives where varying transactions will be actively verified and enabled through the usage of the Algo cryptocurrency, which is native to Algorand, which in turn will lead to sizable increases to the demand for the cryptocurrency. And as a result, the price of Algo may increase, especially as time progresses and the utility surrounding Algorand increases over time. So as well as the World Economic Forum looking to DLT 
and its innovations, especially stablecoins, in improving financial activities. The World Economic Forum has also turned to DLT as a means of improving green activities around the world. Where the World Economic Forum is vying to improve the green orientated nature of economies around the world. Where the organisation is aiming to a great reduce emissions produced around the world by a number of industries. So another reason as to why the World Economic Forum may have turned to Algrand is due to the green nature surrounding the Algrand network. Where the Algrand network is one of the most eco-friendly networks in the world and the network is vying to be the greenest blockchain and to become completely carbon negative in the near future. So the green nature surrounding Algrand has actually been featured quite recently where Algrand lit up Times Square. So with Algrand being one of the most eco-friendly platforms in the world, where the platform is looking to be completely carbon negative in the near future, this may be another driving factor which draws more developers or even large entities to the likes of Algrand. And in turn, this could lead to the World Economic Forum being able to achieve its goals of reducing carbon emissions and improving the green nature surrounding economies around the world. So Algrand could not only be at the centre of financial developments, but also improving the eco-friendliness surrounding a number of industries around the world. So these two use cases will see sizable increases to the overall utility surrounding Algrand, where transaction validation surrounding activities which arise on Algrand will be actively validated and enabled through the Algo cryptocurrency. So this could be quite exciting for all Algo token holders and for the Algrand network itself especially as time progresses and the usage of its network and DLT as a whole becomes more mainstream. What are your thoughts on Algrand? Are you bullish on the World Economic Forum partnering with Algrand? Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching Crypto Clan. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Let us know your views in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.